Meet Lucy. It is our obstacle avoiding Arduino robot. It can detect objects. It can also run in loop. Today, we're gonna learn how to build Lucy from scratch. Chassis. This is the chassis on which we are going to build our robot car. This has all the predefined mounting holes so that you can easily connect the parts. Before we go ahead, countersink screws are going to be placed underneath the base plate on top of which Arduino and accelerometer will be placed. Now we have our battery operated motor that we are going to place on the chassis through the mounting bracket. Fix the T-block like this and then install the motor alongside the T-block. This is a battery holder, which is going to be mounted on the back side of the car in this manner. Make sure to fasten the screws in the op opposite direction to that of the holder so that the batteries can be easily fixed. After this, we are going to add caster wheels to it. BO motor wheel. Now we are going to place our BO motor wheels alongside the BO motor like this. Meet the Iron Man of our car, the Arduino. This little board is the heart of our robot where we'll install the code. Place this little beast like this so that this port stays at the back side of the car. This is a motor driver, which as the name suggests, drives a motor. We are going to put this right on top of the Arduino like this. This will shield the Arduino and will house all the other connections. Here comes the fun part, connections. First, we'll connect our motor wires like this to these four terminal connectors. Then we are going to connect our batteries. Remember, the red connects to the VMS of the motor driver and black wire goes into the GND of the motor driver. Did we tell you that there is a TV in the robot car? Well, not literally, but we do have an alphanumeric LCD display, which will place right at the center of this chassis with the help of a 15 millimeter brass hex spacer and will screw it tightly. This will help us check messages or alerts if the robot has any. This little dude right here is an accelerometer. It detects the acceleration of the robot car. So we have to screw it like this next to the Arduino and motor driver using a 25 millimeter brass hex spacer. This is a servo motor, which we are going to place at the bottom on the front of the car and we'll screw it on the board like this. This will help you rotate the ultrasound sensors so that the robot can make decisions to move left or right. After this, we will plug the servo motor wire into this given header. Make sure the connections are correct and for better understanding, please refer to the connection diagram or discuss with our expert. Meet the eyes of the robot car, the ultrasound sensor and its mounting bracket. First, we'll place the mounting bracket on top of the servo motor. After this, we'll place the eyes on it. We mean the ultrasound sensor. This helps the robot car take the decision where to turn when it detects something. Now we are going to connect the ultrasound sensor. Just plug it into the headset like this and place these wires as shown here. Color sensor. This is a color sensor which detects multiple colors and helps differentiate the same. So if we want the robot car to move from the red color line to another color line, this sensor will help it. We're going to place this sensor here and fasten it so that it does not move. Install program code. Now let's open our Arduino IDE software on PC or Mac. If you don't have it, the link for the same is there in the description. You can download it from here. It's easy, just like subscribing to this channel. 
Connect your Arduino via the cable and then go to Tools. Click Ports and we are going to select this port. Then copy this code from the doc file given below in the description. Paste it here and then click Upload. And voila! Your code is uploaded on the robot car. And with that, our Lucy is all dolled up.